comptroller and auditor general has a very vital role to play. Explain how this is reflected in the method in terms of his appointment as well as the range of powers he can exercise. See, CAG is one constitutional body which is very favourite and which really comes up again and again in the UPSC paper. So, uh, please read it very carefully. Uh, CAG has a very vital role to play. This statement is given. Now, that's the statement. What has been asked is, explain how this is reflected. Please underline this keyword, how this is reflected in the method and terms of his appointment. So, you have to uh, talk about, you have to talk about the method and terms of appointment. Method and term of appointment. And uh, find out how vital role jo hai, what is given, vital role, wo kitna justify ho ra hai. Okay, so you can mention ki, uh, the article, uh, which article for this, article 148 is there. So you can start with that. CAG article 148, the guardian of the public purse or you know someone who looks after the accounts, audits the accounts of the state and the centre. What are the uh, basic responsibilities, the basic role of CAG could be mentioned in the introduction. Then on you can move on to how he, is, uh, he or she is appointed. So a method, you can see you know, uh, he's appointed by the president by letter under his hand and seal and uh, then uh, his terms and conditions of service could be say ki his salary and allowances are charged with the constitution of India, he is ineligible to work further in the government once he retires and you can also mention that uh, you know the term of service, the term that 65 years or 6 years, that's the, the term for him to work. You can also mention the powers of CAG okay and uh, in the context of powers the question is explain how this is reflected see you can say ki he has got the power he's got the constitutional power to audit the account of the consolidated fund of India and of the states etc all of the powers you can see he has the power to decide how the accounts are submitted all of that but at the end towards the end you can also mention that the role of CAG in India is only of an auditor but not of the comptroller uh, you can come give the example of the British uh, CAG, where, uh, you know, if the, if the CAG does not sign, uh, you know, the budget, it is not, it is not appropriate, it is not granted. So, uh, this power is not there with the uh, CAG in the Indian context and he has a ex post facto role. So, after it has been made, then he will find out of the financial propriety. So, this makes it a little less effective uh, than the other counterpart. You can mention this up towards the conclusion and end your answer.